Established in 2005, YouTube is one of the first global social networks around, and its relevance continues to do nothing but grow. The video content posted, viewed, and shared on YouTube can be watched on desktops, laptops, notebooks, smartphones, and now smart TVs, any time of day or night. YouTube attracts a larger range of demographics across all ages, hobbies, interests, and careers than any other social media platform. And YouTube videos can generate high search engine page ranking. And of course, the most obvious benefit is that the combined audio and visual aspects of video content will make your message much more memorable than plain textual content. As the demand for quality video content increases, YouTube continues to gain more subscribers. Let's have a closer look at the statistics to gain a better idea of the benefits of creating an organic video marketing strategy. Worldwide, YouTube has over 1 billion users. Yes, a billion. And a whopping 30 million of them watch videos every day. An astounding 5 billion videos are viewed each day, totaling in over 500 million hours of daily viewing. Over 300,000 new videos are uploaded daily. 80% of people ages 18 to 49 regularly watch YouTube videos. Over 50% of YouTube videos are viewed on mobile devices. The average mobile viewing session lasts 40 minutes. So there's an amazing opportunity to connect with your audience there. 38% of users are female and 62% are male. So clearly the general stats and demographics are there. And by themselves, they justify using YouTube as a marketing channel. But the marketing related stats are even more compelling. Today, around 87% of online marketers use video content. One third of all online activity is watching videos. 92% of mobile video viewers share the content that they watch. And when given the choice, 59% of executives will choose video content over written articles. Video drives a 157% increase in organic traffic from search engine result pages, or SERPs. The click-through rate of email with videos is 96% higher. Content retention increases from 10% to 95% when comparing video to text. Users spend 88% longer on websites with video. Blog posts with video attract three times more inbound links. Adding video to ads increases engagement by 22%, and 85% of businesses have in-house staff who curate their video content, which shows you how important all your competitors think video marketing is. That pretty much settles it. You obviously need to be marketing on YouTube. Next up, we'll talk about establishing YouTube marketing goals. Establishing marketing goals is critical to the success of your YouTube marketing. Countless entrepreneurs and businesses have set up a YouTube presence, made a few posts, and then let it sit untouched for months or even years. This is usually due to a lack or an absence of goals. So, before you even begin establishing any sort of YouTube presence or strategy, you need to establish clear marketing goals. Your goals should be specific, measurable, and attainable. They can be long-term, short-term, or a mix of both. Deadlines and milestones can be helpful as well. I want to increase my social following would be an example of a bad goal that will likely result in your marketing efforts petering out for a while because there's no specific milestones. I want to gain 1,000 likes by Christmas is an example of a good goal. It's specific, measurable, and certainly attainable. Below are some examples of the various goal categories you might be interested in. First up, there's traffic to websites. And here we're talking about sales, leads, or just content marketing. Probably one of the most popular goals of YouTube marketing is to funnel your YouTube traffic back to your own web properties. After all, most businesses don't do business on YouTube per se. You're leveraging YouTube to obtain traffic and convert that YouTube traffic into brand followers, leads, prospects, and customers. So maybe your goal is to get people to a landing page with a free offer where they can subscribe to your list and become a lead. Maybe they're being sent to a sales page or an e-commerce store. Maybe you just want to do some content marketing so you send them to your blog. Whatever the case, the end goal for a lot of businesses will likely be bringing YouTube traffic away from YouTube and over to their own web properties. Next up, there's social following, which we like to call YouTube as autoresponder. In this goal category, your aim is to build a large number of followers. And the reason we also refer to this as YouTube as autoresponder is because the main sought-after benefit here is to increase the number of people who will see your uploads in their feeds. 
In this sense, your YouTube posts become similar to sending out email broadcasts via your autoresponder. If you grow a large enough community, this can be very beneficial, and if your content is engaging enough to get a lot of traction in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and shares, you can significantly increase the range of your organic reach into people's feeds. Next, there's passive presence. Some businesses might have purely passive goals. Simply being present and discoverable inside of YouTube is a benefit that has wider appeal and greater utility than you may think. In many cases, a company's YouTube presence might supersede or at least augment what was once the role of a blog, assuming most of your content can be conveyed in the form of videos or attached to videos. When people come across this content of yours and they look at your channel, they can see some basic info about your brand or business, and you can get some traffic to your website. The same approach can also be used for events, communities, and brands. After that, there's brand awareness. Another goal that's less thought about might be spreading brand awareness and recognition. If you're just starting out, there's a good chance your brand might be in need of a jump start. If nobody's ever heard of you, a great way to increase recognition is to simply create and share unique, helpful, or entertaining content and get your name, logo, and overall brand identity in front of as many people as possible as many times as possible. If this is your goal, you want to avoid being salesy in the beginning. Ensure you're focused almost entirely on posting helpful, relevant, or entertaining videos. After that, there's expanding existing audiences. If you've already got an audience, your goal might be to make it bigger. This can be done via several social marketing methods. Sharing viral content, either curated or created yourself, can lead to a huge increase in your YouTube audience. Although creating your own viral content like that can be great, if you don't have the time or means to do so, you can simply leverage existing content that's already been proven to be viral by curating or resharing it with your own comments or angle added to it. Obviously, you don't want to actually steal and re-upload someone else's video. We're talking about doing a little video review or commentary about a content piece, preferably linking to the original content piece, and adding your two cents. Also, a few humorous videos can't hurt either. Other ways to expand existing audiences can include contests, sweepstakes, and gamification. Assuming your offers or prizes are compelling enough, incentivized sharing, linking, and subscribing can be very effective. Just ensure your methods are permitted by YouTube's terms of service. Enhancing or repairing public relations. Do you want to set your company apart in the public eye? Do you want to associate your brand with feelings of goodwill and community involvement? Was your business recently involved in a controversial incident that requires damage control? It doesn't take a humiliating public catastrophe to make PR enhancement a good idea. This is a goal that any business can engage in. Non-sales related campaigns can include videos that foster positive values and goodwill or even involvement in social movements or noble causes. On the social movement side of things, be careful not to alienate half your prospects though. Did your business recently donate to a charity? Build a school in a third world country? Serve food at a local pantry? These are all great things to post about. If not, then they don't necessarily need to be about things that you and your business participate in specifically. They can be content about general things, like a heartwarming video about helping the poor or caring for the elderly. Special holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Mother's Day also present opportunities to leverage emotions, foster goodwill, and enhance your PR. Next, there's market research. A hugely beneficial goal of YouTube marketing is market research. If you're just starting your business or going down a new path, YouTube can be an excellent place to learn more about your audience and your market. This can be done in a structured way with things like mentioning surveys and questionnaires at the end of your videos and linking to them in the description, or in a less structured way by simply engaging with your audience, commenting, asking questions, and so on. Also, lurking or conversing in YouTube channels or the comments of videos related to your industry can teach you a ton about what your customers want and who they are. Beyond that, you can monitor your competitors' accounts and posts to see what their customers like and what they're complaining about, so you can adjust your business accordingly. Creating your own channel, posting, and engaging in it is another great way to get a constant stream of market and audience data flowing into your business. Ultimately, your goal should be to come up with one or two ideal customer avatars that you can then base your marketing and product development on. All of the goals you've learned about in this section require some sort of presence on YouTube. Getting that presence started is what we're going to talk about next. The first step in getting started on YouTube is to create your own company channel. If you already have a company channel, you can organically optimize your channel with the tips below. First up, selecting your channel name. Now, in a perfect world, your channel name will be your business name. 
If your business name is already taken, get as close to your business name as possible. For example, you could abbreviate your name or add or delete identifiers such as Inc. If the product or service you're promoting is singular or in a clear niche, try to look for a creative, catchy, and memorable channel name. However, you must be forward thinking when you select your channel name. For example, if you expand your product lines in the future, would you have two separate channels or one cohesive channel? If appropriate, you could even use your first and last name as your channel name. Consider keywords, but remember that trending keywords are in constant flux. Currently, you can create up to 50 channels, but in most cases, it's more strategic and time efficient to have one channel with lots of videos and playlists rather than several individual channels. But we'll talk more about strategy in the next segment. Next up, optimizing your images. If you're familiar with optimizing blog posts and website images prior to uploading them to your website, the concept is the same. This is one of those tiny details that many people underestimate or simply don't know exist, but can go a long way in organic YouTube and search engine optimization. The best way to optimize your images is to use Google Trends or a paid keyword tool to identify the best keywords. Then, name and save your YouTube profile pic and banner with the most suitable keywords. Even if you're using your company logo, you must first name and save it with your relevant keywords. Even if you maintain the same profile pic and banner, Update them both with new keywords on a quarterly basis. Next, it's tempting to simply copy and paste the About section of your website in YouTube or your other online platforms, sales sites, and social media channels. However, it's important to write unique descriptions for each of your online descriptions. This minimizes the amount of duplicate online content, but also ensures you have unique descriptions relevant to the purpose of each online profile. For example, your YouTube description should touch on the value you plan to add with your channel via videos, not just who your company is and what you do. Once you've written a few unique sentences or paragraphs, take the time to add the About section links to your website, other social platforms, and top trending news. Before you begin creating your video content, you want to develop a video content strategy. Avoid the common temptation to just post about your products and services, and consider how you can create relevant video playlists which will meet a wide range of your target audience's needs. Yes, this can include sales, but it's time to think out the box. Posting just a handful of relevant and high quality videos is always better than posting a high volume of useless videos. Any combination of the ideas below can be used as inspiration for content your customers will engage with. First up, start with your FAQ. An excellent place to begin is take a look at your customers' most frequently asked questions. This can include industry questions and product questions alike. Answer the questions via a video or a video series and drive instant engagement. Next up, educational and instructional how-to videos are another popular choice. Here's a few examples. Does your product require assembly? Great! Create a step-by-step -step video of how to put it together. Do you sell a digital product? Create a video of the screenshots for performing common or advanced functions using your software or app. Do you sell a tool that can be used for a versatile range of functions? Create a video highlighting its most common features or functions. For example, a makeup demo. Is there an adjacent software, product, or tool your customers use? Create a video on how to integrate it with your product. You can even create videos that you use to train your team and post it online in an invitation-only video playlist. Next up, client testimonials. Your passionate and happy customers are often eager to share their great experience with others. The next time you receive a raving online review or direct email, ask the customer if they would be willing to record a client testimonial. And yes, it's okay to incentivize them for their time. Then there's live streaming an event. If you have an upcoming live event, fundraiser, speech, product demo, or convention, take a few minutes to record the event and upload it to your YouTube channel. How about interviews and team profiles? One of the ways to connect and engage in our current digital world is to do an online interview or video profile. This can be short and sweet and answer a few questions, or a little more robust. The goal is to make you and your team feel human and relatable. Also, take advantage of the opportunity to interview industry innovators you come across, and post the video to YouTube. Then, there's mini commercials. Most small or mid-sized businesses don't have the budget to produce and place a TV commercial for local or nationwide placement which makes YouTube videos the ideal alternative. In most cases, it's still best to have an online video expert produce and create your mini commercial 
including professional audio, voiceover, scripts, graphics, and editing. However, the price will be far more cost-effective than a commercial designed for TV. That being said, you can turn to DIY video tools to create whiteboard videos, videos from images, or to edit the footage you shoot. Some of the best DIY video tools include Nutshell, Magisto, Animodo, VideoShop, iMovie for the iPhone, and iMovie for Macs. Then there's videos that support your content. As mentioned earlier when we were talking about statistics, when given the choice, 59% of executives would rather watch a 30 to 120 second video as opposed to reading a blog post, article, or email. Also, email marketing campaigns with videos have a 96% higher email open rate. This means you should look for ways to create image, text, and whiteboard videos that support your written content. The DIY tools above will help or outsource to a video designer. Share your story. Don't discount the value of sharing engaging content designed to share your company's story or a story that will emotionally connect with your subscribers. For example, think of all the viral animal and baby videos that trend on YouTube. While babies and pets may not be relevant to your target audience, actively look for other ways to share stories that will brand your business in a positive light. Now let's talk about mapping out your video content plan. Use the video categories above to break your video content up into relevant playlists and map out how many videos you want to create each quarter. Your organic and your paid video marketing plans must be integrated with your entire online and social media marketing plan. For example, after your video goes live, you can add it to an upcoming blog post as well as share it to your other social media platforms. In fact, let's talk about posting videos outside of YouTube. One of the unique things about video content is that unlike blogs and articles, you can post the same video in multiple places online. Look for every opportunity to post your relevant videos and remember that you can share them more than once. For example, if your how-to video is a hit on Facebook, post it again in a week or two. This will help increase views, likes, comments, and shares. Here's just a few places to post your videos. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and other social platforms like that. Within articles and blog posts. Within relevant paid ads. Upload to relevant email marketing campaigns. Add to one-off relevant emails. Add to your newsletter. To relevant website pages. To the video section of your website. Even if you have the option to add a video independently from the source file and not just from YouTube, upload the YouTube link. This will help to create more backlinks and send more traffic back to your YouTube channel. Next up, organically optimize your YouTube videos. Before you upload a new video to YouTube, you must make sure it's organically optimized. This is similar to optimizing your profile image and banner as detailed earlier, but a bit more in-depth. First, there's renaming your video file. Before you upload your new video to YouTube, create an SEO-optimized file name. Use Google Trends or a paid keyword tool to name and save your video with relevant keywords. For example, you may be tempted to name your videos chronologically, but the perfect smoky eye is a better name than makeup tutorial number 12. Input all metadata. If you're familiar with filling out the metadata for your web pages and blog posts, it's somewhat similar within YouTube. Your title needs to include the question and or relevant keywords viewers will type in when searching for information on YouTube. The more specific, the better. Just make sure your video name makes sense. Then, there's the description. Utilize video description to highlight the key points within your video. While the description can be up to 5,000 characters, the first 160 characters with spaces is all that populates in the search results. In other words, make sure there's a keyword or two in the first 160 characters, and don't forget to invite your viewers to subscribe to your channel. Captions and subtitles. Search engines can't crawl for videos, but they can crawl and index your captions and subtitles, so make sure they're SEO optimized. Don't forget to add links. You want to be sure to add relevant external links to your video description. While you certainly want to link back to your website, sales site, or other social media platforms, your organic performance may improve if you find quality links that are relevant to your videos. For example, link back to the official source of your statistics. Where many B2B and B2C marketers fail, is in uploading videos to YouTube without organically optimizing their files and metadata, and without a plan for posting their video content elsewhere. With the strategic approach above and a steady stream of new videos, your subscription base and YouTube video community is sure to grow. Now, as great as all this info is, it's not going to be of any use to you or your business if you don't apply what you've learned. So, roll up your sleeves and get ready to execute the steps in the following battle plan. Step 1. Spend an hour brainstorming your YouTube marketing goals. Step 2. Think about what kind of videos are most useful for your business or niche and develop a content plan. Step 3. 
Take 15 minutes to create and optimize a YouTube channel in accordance with what you learned in this guide. Step 4. Start recording and uploading the first videos you decided on in Step 2.